Lexus of Blackburn. Andrew Moore and the team. I was out there the other day, as I said. I always talk about the coffee. The coffee's fantastic. <laughs> it is It is wonderful out there. Got some ripping cars at the moment. Not just the, the, the little one. We're, we're what one are you in at the moment? I'm, well, I, I drive a 500, um, which is the, the big saloon, if you like. Um, and that's. Do you drive it or someone drives you? No, I drive it, but I should have a driver because <laughs> the massage machine in the back seats oh. is... <laughs> <laughs> just next level, but I never sit in there, so it's <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, no, they're just fantastic at the moment, and they've got they've got a couple of people movers. You should have all these for down the track when you're dropping the boys off at footy at practice. Some really good cars out there at the moment. Mm, no boots it's in the car, boys. Uh, Lexus of Blackburn, in or out? Has the game gone past Clarko? Out. Oh, out. Way out. Out. Um, look, well, he, he's honest with where North Melbourne's at. North of he, three years away. He said that. He goes... Yeah. You can keep telling me all, all the things are wrong with North Melbourne. We're acutely aware of where we're at. Um, they've got to find some key position stocks. In Good position. game this week, though, Hawthorne and North, because I reckon Hawthorne are a year ahead. Mm-hmm. The Tassie Cup. The Tassie Cup. Well, sponsorship from Tassie. <laughs> yeah, um, that cup is going to be empty shortly. <laughs> uh, so, Clark, oh, tick, let him go. No, hey, and, and can uh, I just quickly highlight, he spoke uh, brilliantly well in the pregame with Fox Footy too. So, Similar did. To what, what I you watched, just introed the, the show I, about? I watched uh, I watched that and I, I, I must admit I teared up watching yeah. it. Uh, he spoke very much for everybody. AFL needs more blockbusters at Marvel. Blues and Crows, first 50,000 crowds since 2013. Well, Essendon had 49 and a half, I think, the night before, so that's pretty close. Well, that's out because it just highlighted since 2013. So it's the right stadium for about that size crowd. That's 40, it. 40,000. Yeah, blockbusters, I mean... Forty thousand's a blockbuster. But they shouldn't get a kick. It's every game's a blockbuster. Carlton going all right. I mean, they're Good all trying. They're all trying to get in here, even though they, no one wanted to be here when it was a built. You know, when it was a building site when we built the whole place. Now, all these pickers and choosers, <laughs> like Carlton and Essendon, want to get still back down here. Still a sensitive topic for you. This hey? still a sensitive topic. Very <laughs> sensitive because they didn't do anything. So down there you stay. But, but I but, think what's happened with the, with the two hundred fifty million redevelopment down there is it's starting to get a bit of a feel again. What the AFL should do, is and, and the clubs, is market it properly. I mean, you would rather go down there from June through to August than be here on a Thursday night. 40,000 down Cold. there is great. It's yeah. better than 40,000. But they've got to work out the, the uh, medallion club seating to be able to rebuy yeah. those seats. Put That's, them back in. Put them yeah. back in. Because yeah. that, you, know, you look around at level two, which is... Have you ever sat in level two down the front at level two of, of Marvel Stadium? Yeah. Have you ever been the proper... You know, so we're oh, looking at it. Once, actually. It's sensational. Hmm. It's you're just, on top of the action. It's absolutely unbelievable. I've always... But Marvel always been either in the commentary box or, as it turned out, when, you, when you're the president, you sit up the back of level two because you've got to go into the function and out of the function, etc. You get in the front. That's, it's, it's sensational. Hmm. So I think there needs to be a remarketing of Marvel. It got off on a bad footing and has never quite no. recovered. Freo can challenge for the flag, in or out? I'm a bit each way here uh, because I think they still need to find better ways to score. They can dominate large periods of the game and not score. Tracy is improving. Amos is a good player. Um, they just haven't found the way to hit the scoreboard yeah, got to kick more, don't when, they? when they dominate the game. Yep, okay. Uh, everyone is sick of the cats being... <laughs> oh, out! Oh, no, out! out. Out. Yeah, it's good it, for footy. No, it's great. Yeah, it's great for footy. Do you know someone had a go at me going, uh, oh, you, you're always too kind on the catch. You say they make the finals every year. It's because 17 out of the last 20 years they've made the finals. That's a pretty safe well, bet. But that was always the thing about the Pies. You know, uh, you know, we played in grand finals all through my life. Didn't ever win them when I was a kid. But we're there every week. You played in a preliminary final, a grand final. It's good value for money. You'd yeah. like to win a few more. But... Uh, Jeez, uh, they've been good value, the, the <laughs> pies and the cats over, over the duration. And Sydney Swans, I mean, have a look at the Sydney Swans. What they've been able to do, given what they are set up to be, and that is the, you know, the, the vanguard of New South Wales expansion, the fact that they're thereabouts just about every year has been a mighty effort great, for them. Great development, great and Great for football. Yeah, well, you know, they argued mm. for, for the uh, academies and... They get a bonus from that, but they've mm. developed them well. So I don't have any problems with that, um, as long as everyone gets a fair crack at it. But uh, I think it's been wonderful what they've been able to do. And your mob, GWS, have become a real club too. Mm. What's the difference in the last few years, apart from you? <laughs> no, yeah. nothing to do with me. Well, and a coach. Uh, good, 
good players, good people at the club. Uh, development, they've really doubled down, especially in the last 18 months as well. Your recruiting seems to have actually got big-bodied but strong-of-mind players. Yeah. Sometimes when you get these young kids who are, the, as we said, the kids who win the best and fairest every year, sometimes they can be rats as well. Um, and that's not casting aspersions on anyone who's been before. But it just seems at the moment that it's a very steady professional club. Yeah, good senior players who have been there from pretty much the outset, most of them. When you, you know, Cornelio, Kelly, Green, yeah. to name a couple who have been there for And the who June. fought through adversity too. Yeah, Ward yeah. as well, uh, probably a couple are missing. And then ones who have really come along at, over through the journey, you know, Sam Taylor, Brent Daniels. Uh, they've got a good core group going at the moment. Okay, uh, we've sort of spoken about this with Tigers. Um, better to get some picks this year yeah. and just rebuild their club. No, I don't think exactly. got to, don't, I don't think they've got a say in it. I think exactly how they've been going. Yeah. They're giving everything a great crack. They'll knock over a few sides like they knocked the Swans over. Yep. But he, it's kind of funny. He, he's getting to actually see the full list on the spot. He's yeah. going to get, a, as they say, a good audit of his club. You better ask this one because yes. I've got the answer to this. A separate football league should be introduced with all the rules the AFL is too scared to bring in. The EFL, as we coined it, the Eddie <laughs> Football League. Last touch, nine pointers, hit yep. the post, isn't the score, 25 metre marks, in or out. Well, I wouldn't go for some of those as rule changes, but again, I have put forward the idea, which is actually, it just comes down to money, to be perfectly honest. What I want to do is have a, uh, a competition in October where all the players who haven't been on a list or have dropped off a list before we get to the, the draft can actually play. So have the yearling sales, not the not the under 18s because they're they they're already done. But you know if you're playing out in you know Broadmeadows or out at uh, Ormond or playing yep. the amateur football or playing Sandford Waffle, VFL etc cetera, etc, cetera, or you've been dropped off a list, then you can come down. But so we should best of the rest. Yeah, best of the rest, yeah. yeah. And you might pick a couple out of those things. You know, if suddenly you're looking, you know, who's this bloke? Oh, he's been overseas for two years, or he's been at university, or he wants to do other things. Because at the moment, but doesn't that tell you though, like? They just want to do other things. Yeah, but they, then you come back. I mean, we're getting plenty of people. Mm. I mean, there are a lot of there are some people in do the you, world. Do you reckon we're missing players? I just think it just thickens up the soup a bit. To be honest, I think okay. if you could pick up a couple, I, I'll tell you what I like it as well. That if your fox dog gives you another reason to keep Ko for a month, it's true. Or you're watching it on Channel Seven or somewhere. But I, I more don't to the point, we're missing many though. I just reckon what it does. I think I think there is a missed opportunity in really promoting the VFL Sandville Waffle. And even the local leagues. Yeah, I'm all for promoting yeah. those competitions. Yeah. So that's there. I mean, yeah. don't, it's not compulsory. No, I just you don't, don't know whether to. I just don't know whether we're missing the talent because the ones who are yeah, but I'm can, can yeah, so be, but I'm looking from I'm trying to get more content for football. Okay. Okay. And so there's that part of it, <laughs> but also the AFL, you know, are always frightened to do anything these days. They're a bit like a government who don't want to change things. But uh, you know, in a heartbeat, everyone's screaming about the. The, the score review and they're going to the arcs. The arcs per- working beautifully at the moment. It's just the umpires have got gun shy um, and they've been told to check things. If you had two umpires, two goal umpires, I'll say this again, standing not on the goal line, because the goal line is exactly the worst spot to be when the ball's coming in. Players, six foot five blokes, th- thundering towards you, hitting the ball. It's the wrong spot. If you stood between the point post and the goal post, you get that angle. And then you can also see on the boundary line as well. So at the moment we've got one bloke really looking after 40 metres of, of line standing in the wrong spot as opposed to two who would be able to share it. You know, maybe we get to the situation where last touch between the arcs as it was back in the old days, old, old, old days, because these things have all been there before. Um, and you can do that in this competition. And I reckon after two handful. weeks, after two weeks, well, they're doing a sandful. Yep. No one even notices it. You'd be wondering if anyone doesn't like it. They can email us. Eddie and and I reckon, you know, like I said it. get rid of touch to everyone, you know loses their mind, except that's exactly what happened last week. We got rid of touched. Got touched three times that ball, or two and a two and a half. No, you don't have me there. No, no, I don't have you there, but that's <laughs> right. You'll, you'll like everything, mate. Eventually you'll Or you think around. you'll wear me down on the touch one? Well, it'll just happen. It just ha- it happens every week. It won't happen. But, it's, but it, no, no, all right, well, we might not change the rule, but it actually happens every week. Happens all the time. And the more we get the technology and the more we realise what a fool's paradise we've been involved in. Yeah, I'm not a big on rewarding um, 
What? Incorrect skills. Okay. So if you, what? If you're not good enough to have your kick get away. But well, I go the other way. If you're not good enough to smother it, why are you getting the benefit? The bloke with the ball should always be encouraged. Bloke, woman, yeah, right? Just get rid of it correctly. Well, get rid of it correctly, but at least what about going in and getting it? It's we'll pretty get simple. That. Two options, right? kick and handball it. Yeah, well, there's <laughs> that. Yeah, but yeah, right. Uh, ask Jimmy, these have come to us from a nine Facebook or X, which is Twitter. When do we... When do we actually just call it X and forget the Twitter? The it's, artist it's a bit like known the 666. When do we just give the free kick? <laughs> At what yeah. stage do we have to? I don't, know. I don't think people are embracing uh, Elon's X. Well, if you're on it, you're on it, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Daniel says, when should a goal umpire be dropped from a game? Bloke in WA should be stood down for yeah. at least two obvious ones. Might take bring in the umps from the ammos. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. But, I've given the answer. They have two goal umpires. Yeah. Well, the AFL hung the goal umpires out to dry a bit. Yeah. By but, saying, hey, yeah, the threshold but, but, just but go mate, upstairs. It's the same thing every week, though. You tell them the, the balls are too slippery, and, and they all know, so they're all out secretly testing them at Sharon at the moment. We've said it for four years. I mean, how, how when does it sink in? Yeah. They're a bit slow to act. Well, but they go, oh, yeah, well, we've got to get this fixed before it costs somebody a grand final. Well, Colin Pies cost us a grand final in 2002. Score review One good. one for you in, nine, in 2009. No, we still would have won, mate. Yeah. Have a look at the final margin. Yeah, well, yeah, but the game, the, the, the ebb and flow of the game changed. Are you going to claim the one that hit the post in our grand final 2011? Well, you won it, so don't worry about it. Yeah, see, exactly. We but won. I, don't I, worry I, about I, it. I haven't looked back on that game, so yeah, I need to go back and I'll have bring, a look. I'll bring you in a, yeah, thanks, a, a yeah. videotape. Yeah, thank you. Um, Played till three quarters. I'll tell you what, though, the score review is good for sponsors. Yeah, but that, that's not the reason for no, it. No, but it is, good. it is good for sponsors. Well, I wish it was, you know, wish I had a bit more of that action going around. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Get a but, cut. But, it, but that was part of the reason. I mean, we, had to, we actually paid for the, um, all the uh, infrastructure by the sponsorships. So, it, it, you know, that, that doesn't come for free. And if we're going to move into the next stage mm-hmm. with the chip and the ball, that doesn't come for free either. You know, and, and people have got to realise it's technology. Anyone who's ever you know, been driving down a highway and uh, suddenly... You know, your, your map goes somewhere else. It's not foolproof te- technology. I mean, look at our mate Elon. Every time he sends a rocket into space, it blows up at the moment. They, <laughs> they seem to get to the moon in 1969. So it's, uh, it's not foolproof, mm. these things. I think Elon will be all right. That's why we need two golem pies. Anyway, you know, who's, you know who first brought up two golem pies? Ron Barassi in the mid-70s. That's how long. Anyway. Uh, Joe. What would you think about North Melbourne playing games in Bendigo each year, similar to the Bulldogs in Ballarat? Potentially expand their supporter base right through that corridor. Well, I'll have first cut this. Yeah. I think North should be in the north of Melbourne, um, and that is out past Miles Tommy Ground, which was their zone, Broad Meadows, Calcallo, Donnybrook, all into that area, just as we need to get Hawthorne doing the right thing, go to Dingley. Um, and so I'd, re- I'd change some of the old... VFA teams into I'd get Nary Warren involved We've got to be where the people are as Jack Dyer said mate no use being where the ball ain't <laughs> and inner city Melbourne ain't where it is it's well catered for we've got all the, the clubs in there but I'd love to see North at Arden Street yep well, but I'd love to see them at the northern suburbs but Bendigo is a rich traditional place it used to be Carlton's mm. Gold, Golden Square for Golden Carlton. Square, oh, all those places. So what, once yeah. Tassie comes in, of course, uh, the Tassie factor will dry up. But uh, North Melbourne used to have a strong connection with the Murray region, the Murray yeah. Bush Rangers. They VFL side for a while. They were the Murray Kangaroos. Yeah. And I know Wangaratta Rovers have had Mick Nolan, John Byrne, to, yeah. to name a couple. That was a, one of their big recruiting zones yeah. um, through the O and M, the Ovens and Murray. The so Murray, yeah. they, they've got a connection piece there. So, but mate, if I was North, be North. Uh, be north. I mean, the north of Melbourne at the moment, where I grew up, it's 90-something. Uh, at my old school, apparently, St Dominic's Broad Meadows, 98% of the school speaks a different language at home. It's like Western Sydney. So guess what happens there? You've got access to all of them under the academy rule. What's it called again? The yeah, next gen. Next generation. Uh, you'd just be out there, wouldn't you? Yep. Non-stop. It's, it's like having your own academy. Yep. You can actually go out there, that, but that's where there needs to be. And if they don't want to do it, somebody should get hold of it because the north of Melbourne, it, 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 I used to go out there, I think I've told this story on Anzac Day, my brother was the local member of government out there, so we'd go out for Collingwood Essen and he's an Essen supporter and Sheeds would come out or the Bombers would send somebody and I'd take a player out. And the kids out there loved it. There wasn't a goalpost in sight. Um, rugby has just taken over my old uh, Seabrook Reserve, um, is now the State Rugby Centre. 
and they've got all the uh, uh, Islanders and Polynesian kids out there and soccer is up there at the John Nilhan Centre named after my old mate Crazy John and footy's nowhere and it is the fastest growing area in Australia so anything that you're doing in uh, west of Sydney should be duplicated and mm -hmm. put on uh, multiplied um, yep. it, out, out in those northern suburbs it's it's pretty simple to me so I think there's a there's a missed opportunity at the moment and I reckon North's the right team because what they do with their huddle and their community activity and Sonia Hood and uh, you know, Peter Scanlon has, has set all these things up you know, and Pete's an old northern suburbs boy Coburg boy um, that's where I'd be going I think the AFL have just got to really get their head around that and I think that that could fast track yeah. Yes. Uh, let's. So kick Bendigo, off. yeah, doesn't disqualify Bendigo. No. But yeah. No, they, but we, we get where you're going with it, though, yeah. Joe. It's a it's a good proposition for the well, kangaroos it, moving well, forward. I think we're seeing also that we love gather round. So you know, apart from the contracts that have to be here to keep this place going and the big grounds, there there could be something like that that uh, they play a couple of games in those areas. Um, Jack, I think this one it will be hotly debated. Yeah. Given the confusion with Butters and Crouch situations where Butters uh, was off and Crouch got a week, yep. how do we kid teach kids to attack the footy? So okay. let's touch on the Crouch one, Eddie. Yes. Um, you and I have spoken about this a number of times. The old, don't put your head where your backside belongs. Yep. So it's going to kind of sound like I'm contradicting myself. Matt Crouch's technique was perfect. Perfect. But 10 years ago. So, no, just hang on, let me finish yeah, yeah, this no, point. Yeah, let me finish it. Because he stepped over the footy, he protected himself, his head was not in danger, and he took the footy. So, big tick. But they've changed the rules, which encourage what Jack Carroll did, which is, like, come in with your head. Yeah. Now, I'm not blaming Carroll, because the rules actually encourage him to go the, the footy the rule that way. To get, the rule to get and, a free kick encourages him. Yes. Yeah, because he is now under the expectation... The people don't do what Matt Crouch does, yeah, which no. is protect yourself. So, mm. I'm which not, goes back to yeah, I'm not blaming Carol here, no, but I am for well, because he he's under the understanding I that know. you're not allowed to, to do but that. I go back to but it's poor technique. Rule one, which yeah. look after yourself. I, well, I, I've got yeah. a lot of blowback on this from people saying you must be a selfish so and so <laughs> because no, it's rule number one is you look after yourself at all times. It's last protect thing, yourself. The boxing. last thing they say in boxing. Touch it, gloves, protect thing, yourself yeah, at all times. In that situation, had Carol gone for the ball with any sort of technique hmm. but he but he's not it's funny but I, the technique I agree. to get the ball but though. he's not the you AFL. were the best at it you used yeah. to go you put your foot on the yeah, other I side of the ball the take the ball which then opened up all this area yeah. to handball Correct. kick spin but we're, you're going we're, with the head you've got nothing to do but the way the AFL is saying the way you should play the yeah, game but the AFL that's I, what I'm I know, saying I know but I'm just saying Carol's not mm. encouraged to do what we're saying. We're actually in agreement here, I know, Ed. I know, we're in vigorous yeah. agreement. But my point is, I think that we have too many people at the AFL who are looking for um, outcomes that just can't happen. Mm. They're looking for a perfect world solution where nobody gets injured. Yeah. The best way to get to not get injured is to protect yourself. Mm. They're yeah. looking at it the other way. They're trying to be prohibitive. Right? They're trying yeah. to say, you can't mm. run through me or run and get the ball and make contact. That's not our game. Yeah. And so it can't be our game because no. it's contact every time the ball's Because if we reverse it, and we're, Matt Crouch, why would you correctly protect yourself in future? Yeah. Because you might have a player... So what is he supposed to do, run in and hit heads with him? No, they're exactly right. So yeah. that's why I'm saying we're, we're in agreement. Yeah, so yeah totally. <laughs> well, you can't have Butters gets off and you can't have Crouch getting rubbed out. Yeah. Well, they've gone... I think no. they both should get off, to be perfectly honest. Yes. But uh, you've got one who's getting off who's playing Collingwood this week. Just when you see that in real time, Butters was flying yeah, through the contest. But that's, but no, you're allowed to. Yeah, I know. I, I just say, I just remember watching it on my TV screen. You know? He was like a missile. Well, you know, maybe the guy who's going in half out, it has to just jump out of the way. Again, led with his face. Exactly. <laughs> now, we don't want people getting cleaned up. No. Right? So we want to say that, okay? But, again... again. Yeah. We're yeah. not laying blame on Carol and Banfield was the one that... Uh, Butters um, collided with. Yeah. But just saying, the way the rules are structured at the moment. That ball was loose. Yes. And one guy was half, not half-hearted, but was, wasn't in position to go because the ball might have bounced a bit differently. And one went flat out mm. with full intent to, win to get the ball. Mm. Not to hurt his opponent, to get the ball. That should not be, neither of those should be rubbed out. Yep. And if any of them should be, Butters should be rubbed out because he's playing Collingwood this week. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, that's I think that's a, a real a real issue. 
and uh, it is one of these uh, unintended consequences of bringing a rule to protect everyone that's protecting nobody. 